discern realities are players supposed to ask the questions before or after dice roll. The book is pretty clear on this subject. When you closely study a situation or person, roll plus wis. Eight pointed star on a ten plus, ask the GM three questions from the list below. Eight pointed star on a seven to nine, ask one. So, when you trigger the move, thus, study a situation, first you roll dice, then you ask questions from the list. Why do I ask, is because there were talks in the community which imply the players ask questions from the list when the roll still misses. See Suddenly Ogres for the example, it explains how to narrate. Misses. For spout lore and discern realities, but implies that players ask, who's in control, a question from the list. Who's in control on this masquerade ball? It's your rival, Duke Dupont, just as you feared. Who's in control in that masked ball? Suddenly, ogres are everywhere. I suppose that means that ogres are in control now. How could that be? Should player ask before rolling the dice, or should the GM ask for further clarifications on miss, or what? When you closely study a situation or person, the discern realities move asks you to roll. You roll. The move then tells you what happens on a particular die result ask the GM this many questions, or on a miss the GM makes a move as hard as they want. That's a natural order. However, since discern realities says what happens when you closely study a situation or person, it's important to consider the possible outcomes of the move when determining if you, as a player, should closely study a situation or person which triggers the move. If the answers to the questions don't promise to give you anything meaningful, it could end up a waste of table time. What seems to be catching you is the fact that the GM has a special GM move. Turn their move back on them which is used to color bad rolls with exciting twists on the move the player used. In this case, a GM might tell a player, on a miss, to ask a question anyway, and then answer that question in a way that complicates things for the players, such as the introduction of the example ogres. The explanatory text given on p. 168 of the book is as follows. Think about the benefits a move might grant a character and turn them around in a negative way. Alternately, grant the same advantage to someone who has it out for the characters. If Ivy has learned of Duke Horst's men approaching from the east, maybe a scout has spotted her, too.